Hey guys, it's Zombie, and I'm here doing a little bit of a uh, quick vlog before I show you the fancy part of the vlog. I've got a little furry friend here. Yeah, just wanted to give you guys some updates. I know that a lot of you have seen my video about depression. You may not know this, but I started a second vlog channel called Zombie Uncut, and it's basically just raw, uncut vlogs of me talking about how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, just everyday life. And as I go on, it's gonna be less about like my exact feelings and things like that and more about just like what I'm doing every day and I'm gonna try to upload every day. So if you wanna go follow that channel, it'll be right here, I'll put like a little link or something. Okay, so the big news here is that I did get a dog. I've had him for about a week now. He's licking his butt right now. A lot of you know that I've been wanting a dog for a long time. I used to have my own dog for four years, and when I left uh, Colorado, when Sly and I split up, I actually could not take her with me, and Sly could not keep her, so I found a family for her in Denver, and she's a lot happier, I'm sure, in the mountains and stuff. I could have gotten her back if I wanted. The people said that I could have her back whenever, but it had been too long, and I just didn't want to uproot her from her, um, her home and her new stuff so it's been a while before I've been thinking about getting another dog and I've been looking for a while and finally the past couple weeks I've been more serious about the search talked to my roommates more about it and I seem to have found the perfect dog here his name is Rufio when I adopted him his name from the shelter was Sparky but he if you can tell is just the tiniest little baby he doesn't really make any noise. He doesn't bark at all and he is just seriously the sweetest little thing I've ever had the pleasure of snuggling. He's eight years old. He loves to dance whenever his food is uh Whenever I'm making his food and stuff, he just fucking jumps on his two back legs and like puts his paws up and starts dancing. It's the cutest freaking thing I ever, I swear. He's just He's a little baby, and he's a little sleepy baby. Took him to the park the other day, we went on a really long walk to the park, and then spent time at the park. He actually got really playful, kind of like a puppy. Oh my god, he's sleeping like this. That is too goddamn cute. Okay, here, you can rest on my, rest on my hand, baby, there you go. He doesn't have, like, that much energy, he's very low maintenance. He's super fluffy, super adorable, very obedient. He's having a little trouble with potty inside, but that's because he's in a new place. Overall, he's a really good dog so far, and I'm really happy that I have him. <laughs> he's seriously just the fucking cutest thing ever, and I just... I can't... How can you not look at... Look at... And he's got a little baby... Little baby snaggle tooth. <laughs> yeah, so one of the things that I did for my depression was take action with the part about me that really wanted to get a dog. Dogs are really therapeutic. There's something to love that loves you back unconditionally, something to focus on. And focusing on him is basically focusing on myself because we're just spending time together alone. And the other thing that I did was um, I talked to a life coach. Um, I had a session with him and he kind of opened my eyes to a lot of things that were kind of in the back of my mind, but, you know, never really, uh, you know, solidified by somebody who knew what they were talking about, and definitely taught me a lot of new stuff, and I'm gonna have another session with him, um, soon. I've got some personal goals to, uh, work on, like, things that, you know, like, do this entire day, have an entire day where I don't have a sad thought kind of thing, like, because even though I'm, like, happy and stuff now, there are definitely times where I'm still having, like, sad thoughts, and, um, it's tough, but it's a process. And oh my god, look at this. He's just, just resting on my boob now, just sleeping. He's, I hate, I hate you. I've actually been hanging out a lot with friends and stuff in real life, more so because I feel like that was something that I was missing in my life, and it was my fault. But getting out of my house more, you know, going on walks more and and getting out of this little room which brings me to another thing is that now that I'm trying to get back to work after taking almost a week off I really am finding trouble trying to balance doing stuff in real life and being outside in the real world while also being online and maintaining a presence online and doing content and stuff like that. Wanna go over there? Go ahead. Wanna go over there? Okay. There you go. I, um, I just want you to know that I may not be streaming every day still but I've 
I streamed last night and it was fun. Some of you, I decided to play Hearthstone because I really wanted to and some of you were like, there's no hell way I'm gonna watch Hearthstone. And I just want you to know that's a really negative attitude. If you're there for me, be there for me. Clearly, sometimes I play games that I don't want to play just because that's what you guys want and I don't want to do that as much anymore. It would be fine, like, maybe not as much anymore. I might not want to do it ever again. There are times that I want to play Minecraft, but there's a lot of times where I want to play Hearthstone and I'm fucking terrible, but that's fine. You can laugh at how fucking bad I am. It's totally fine. Just understand that I get that maybe you, maybe you aren't interested in Hearthstone or another game that I might be playing, but I am enjoying it and that's why I'm playing it because it makes me happy and that's a big thing also. If I don't feel like I'm liking my content or doing things that I like, it's because I'm doing it too much for you guys and not doing the things that make me happy. I'm going to play the games that I want to play. Hopefully you guys will enjoy them too. I mean, ultimately you're there because you like my personality, right? So I mean, fuck you if you think otherwise. I'm not good at Minecraft. How would you, you know what I mean? Like I suck at Minecraft technical stuff too. So it's like, why? I probably continue to do the Mad Pack stuff, Minecraft on stream, you know, Minecraft machinimas and stuff like that on YouTube. But when it comes to just like regular stuff, I might not be doing it as much just because it's not as fun for me right now. I'm a little burnt out on it. I probably need a little break. Which is fine, because my channel on here on YouTube is like, all over the place. I mean, I do real life skits, I do gaming, I do just vlogs. It's kind of all over the place. It's not just a gaming YouTube channel. Although that's basically what it's centered around. So, that brings me to my last thing that I wanted to talk about. And, the, <laughs> the little baby. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, skits. I am actually going to be working with some more friends and stuff to do more skits. <laughs> I swear to God, he's way too fucking cute. I'm gonna be working with some more friends and stuff to do more skits, getting more, I know I know a lot of people in the city that work, you know, in my industry, but I also happen to have a few friends that work in like film and in the comedy scenes and stuff like that. So one of my friends is a comedian and he actually has a few other comedian friends that want to work with me and do some skits. So the thing is though, that takes a lot more time and it takes, you know, props and things like that. And uh, you know, I may have a nice camera and I might have that down, but I don't have really good audio. Actually the last couple skits I did, I didn't even use my little external audio thing because it almost didn't sound that much better. But that's some things that I'd like to do and uh, work on and, and make higher quality skits like instead of having um, since I'm so bad at like doing After Effects and like graphic stuff like that I could maybe outsource some of the things and make them look better instead of purposely making them look really shitty because I couldn't make them look good anyways but those things take time and money and I'd love to do more of them and if you guys would want me to do more of them um, I'm thinking of starting a Patreon just to like help fund that so I could do Patreon for like, you know, if I raise this much, I'll do X amount of skits this month and so on and so forth. And they'll be longer, they can be- Stop licking your- where your balls used to be! So gross! Oh my god, I swear, last night he was licking his area and I didn't see it before and then I saw it. It was the little thing where his balls used to be and they didn't cut it off, they just let- it was gross and I'm- I wish I, had, I could unsee it, but I can't. I love you, so I'm just gonna pretend it's not there. <laughs> Anyways, if you think that's something you'd like to support, then um, type in the in the comments like start a Patreon because that would be really helpful to me to do that. If I especially if I know that you guys want me to do that, that's the motivation right there. It's also the financial ability to do it because I, if I don't have like financial backing for that kind of stuff, then it's like I will have to take time off of making other content. And right now, I'm, as I'm trying to get back into all the work and everything that I was doing before, it's already like a struggle to maintain a good schedule and stuff like that while having real life fun and activities and online. I'm gonna find that happy medium here pretty soon. You know, I'd love to do that. And if you guys like it too, then you can support me by saying, Start a Patreon. And if I start a Patreon, you can support me by donating to the Patreon. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, basically it's like a little service, kind of like a Kickstarter in a way, but it's like a continuous thing. So it's like somebody who continually produces content instead of like one project. Say I will donate $5 a month and if I reach like, if I get like maybe $200 a month of donations or whatever like that, then I can put out like four skits or something like that. Basically that's how it works. I don't know yet if that's a thing, we'll see. 
Anyways, leave a comment below if that's what you want. Also, welcome Rufio to the family. He is Rufio! Uh, Halloween is coming up tomorrow. I had a costume idea, but, uh, and you guys have been guessing it. However, Steve's not coming, so I have to do a different costume. I'm gonna try to be, I think, Tinkerbell or Pinkerbell, maybe, like my own version of Tinkerbell, just because little Rufio is gonna be Rufio from Hook. Kind of a bullshit, shitty last minute costume, and I've been a fairy before, so it's like, whatever. But at least little baby Rufio will have his first Halloween with me, and it'll be fun. And all of our friends over in the East Bay. It should be a good time. So, you will not see a stream of Fuck Boss Friday for me tomorrow, but I will be streaming after this video. You can go check it out. I should be live. Twitch.tv slash zombie unicorn. And I'll probably be playing some more Don't Starve Together beta. And I will be maybe playing some Hearthstone. And then, uh, who knows? This weekend, uh, on Saturday, I'll probably be hitting up that Evolve Alpha, because I got in. <laughs> oh my god, this little cute. I would love to see all the little gifs and the little gifs and the little screen caps of this little cute butt during this vlog because I have not been paying attention to him fully in the camera and I have no idea how fucking cute he is except for that I know he's so fucking cute. Okay, anyways, thanks for coming out and thanks for all your support and for all of those who have written me a message or commented on the depression video and all that, I really appreciate all of you. It was tough and I really do appreciate those things, but I hope, I hope you guys know that just because I didn't respond to everybody it was because it's not that I needed support from you guys online, I needed my real life support in person, physical. You know, there's, it's hard. When you're online only, it's really hard to have like take meaning and take take it like more to heart when you're thousands of miles away for people Same goes for long distance relationships it's really hard to have that anyways please enjoy the lovely puppies uh the first part is from when i went to the dog park with sam and lana before i got rufio then when i got rufio and then when we went back to the park with rufio and then the last part is when i went to get some lovely drive-in style burgers from a place in my neighborhood with Rufio and how fucking cute he is. Anyways, thanks for coming out. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and suck my butt. I don't know. I love you guys. Thanks for coming out with a little baby. He's such a baby! No. No! He's like, Mom, I don't like it. Tell them to like the video if they like you. It's my baby. My baby butt. Your little butt. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like my little baby butt. Okay, thanks for coming out. Bye, guys.
Rufio, go! Sit down. 